and we're good as gold. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining the show. This is Tony, the VA, and Ria Gata, the whole model, right? So um, today we have a special guest. Before we get into that, I'd like to tell you that I appreciate you for tuning in. And this is a great show that we have today. And every day, I want you to continue to uh, log in every Tuesdays to view what new content that we're going to post on YouTube, as well as LinkedIn and other social, uh, social media uh, um, platforms. So I'm going to give a little background uh, on myself. We started this show, we started the show, and uh, Annette, excuse me, Annette and myself, we started the show with the intention to ha, ha, you know, grab the everyday VA and the person who does the job every day to uh, be able to allow them a voice. You know, how we say as VAs, we want to be the voice of the customer. But for this show, we want to be the voice of the everyday VA. And with that being said, uh, we like uh, your input. Please comment on any of the videos below. We love your feedback and thank you for all of the inboxes, inbox messages uh, that were sent to us, uh, congratulating us and also uh, thanking us for having this type of show set up. Uh, so next, I'd like to introduce our co-host and that is Annette Robinson. She's gonna give you a little uh, high level spiel on her background. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Annette Robinson, and um, I've been a BA for about 15 years. Um, I, cur I currently do not work in the corporate world. I have my own business analysis firm, and I work with small businesses uh, so that they can uh, benefit from business analysis. So as Tony said, we started this show because we wanted to uh, give a voice to the everyday BA. Um, we are in all kinds of places and all kinds of industries doing all kinds of things and we have all kinds of titles. Um, but we thought that this would be a really fun way, a kind of a non-traditional way to talk about what BAs do. Um, and we can, with the help of technology, do this from just about anywhere, as long as we have access to the internet and we can have different people on and um, just kind of spice up <laughs> business analysis. So uh, with that being said, let's, um, I like to give a, a mild introduction on Ayush. Uh, now Ayush, is a business analyst and let me just tell you this guy has a lot of letters behind his name i thought he was the alphabet man after this <laughs> but he's a, a a really great person to get to know uh, he has a lot of experience in not just business analysis but project management and agile and a lot of other things that you know normally you wouldn't see in most bas but the key thing will grab my attention about ayush is that you know it, when you are developing yourself as a BA, you have to attach yourself with another skill to make you like stand out outside of the crowd. Oh, you're just a BA? Okay, now what else do you know how to do? <laughs> so maybe there's some potential for some growth in the, you know, in the corporate world or, you know, as a business or a partnership. So all of those things, you know, are very impressive, but I want, I used to give you a high level overview of himself. Go ahead, Ayush. Sure. First of all, thank you, Tony and Enet, for having me here. It's definitely an honor to be talking to Tony, the BA, and <laughs> Enet, sure. Uh, but definitely, I think, Tony, you had a lot of good things to say about me, but thank you so much for that. I hope I prove that in this chat show with all the good things you, thought, uh, you just told to your audience. But certainly, uh, I come from an uh, IT background. I had I did my undergrad or bachelor's in computer science. I worked in IT and then I did uh, develop a lot of passion in the field of business analysis and project management. So I kind of went in and did my master's in engineering management and I did a few certifications. Uh, so that, that's good, <laughs> I guess. So. Yeah, a few, just a few. So just to kind of, what you say, to learn and kind of implement what we all do in our day-to-day -day life. 
So it was certainly a good experience. Right now, I'm working more in the field of cybersecurity. So that's definitely uh, the cutting edge technology and how we can, you know, make the world better and safe and a lot of other things. So that's, that's pretty much. That's great. That's great. And you know, uh, what I really, you know, admire is that, the, you know, it takes a lot of discipline, first of all, to, you know, go through your bachelor's and then go into your master's. Any type of continuing education, regardless if it's a degree or a certification, I admire anyone who continues the marathon, as they say. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, I mean, the experience in between did help, and then the master's was definitely an added advantage. So yes, but I agree with you. I mean, uh, education do hold a lot of value, and it definitely needs a lot of dedication to be there and you know do whatever along with whatever jobs you're working in your life. Good, good. So like. Tell us about what you're working on currently. So I'm working on a very interesting project. It's called, I can't tell you much. Wait, no, don't tell me. This information has been unclassified. The details. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I have information, but just give me like a high level without going into detail. Like. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm working more in the field of cybersecurity and DLP. So mm -hmm. More about taking care how the, the data DLP. Works. What does that stand for? Is that uh, document um, level procedures? What is that? No, no, it's it's a little different. It's it's uh, uh, data loss prevention or protection. So it's about making sure the data is it's in the right hands within the organization and is taken care in the right ways. Wow. Okay. And uh, so your current role is a, a security professional. What is that? Yeah, it's, it's cybersecurity business analyst, uh, but it just like any other business analyst, you wear multiple hats. So yes, we kind of do a lot of things in that specific role. Wow. So it, with the cybersecurity business analyst, like this, you, this is very rare, like you would see this, but you know, individuals out in the industry, um, you have to understand the security part of building a solution you know, and, but you're dedicated, you know, to security itself, regardless of where it's coming from or what solutions are being created. You help, you know, uh, talk to those requirements and regulations that are governed by, and you're in Canada. We forgot yeah. to mention that. You're in Canada. Yeah, I'm from Toronto. Do you remember the Toronto? Yeah, yeah Toronto. <laughs> Don't rub it in just because y'all want a little. <laughs> Hold on, but look. I'm coming to, you know, uh, Toronto. We're going to play one-on-one -on -one just to do a rematch. <laughs> okay, for sure. <laughs> but, yeah, so you're you're up in Toronto, man. Uh, a, secu a business analyst who has a security background. Talk to us about, like, what is the scope of the, a position like that? I think that's a very interesting question because... Uh, I think the way or the era we live in, right, cybersecurity or information security is going like anything, right? It has gone beyond what we can think, right? I mean, what we see are wars, but what we don't see are cyber wars. We don't know if it's happening or if it's not happening, right? I mean, a lot of things which uh, are so interesting, right? I mean, what when I say uh, uh, about the amazing kids song is I was just listening to the other day when I was visiting one of my relatives is Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And, and, and when I'm at work or at other spot and reading something, there is also a, a specific malware or virus you could read about is Baby Shark. So it's, 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 it has gone beyond what we can imagine in terms of uh, the implementation in terms of the projects. And I would say we are, maybe you are in any field keeping yourself updated uh, to the most latest things happening around you, around your profession is the way to excel. Mm, great. So now that uh, we discussed that, i like to move into uh, another topic. And the topic that i like to discuss...